Email is a critical part of our automations. If I have Outlook installed, I can easily send an email. But some of you are using your Gmail to send the emails. Now, I have created a video which I have created two years back where I was using the Gmail to send emails. Now, Gmail has made some changes and the app password is now located in a new place. So most of you who were following that video which was made two years back, you are not able to send an email. So this video, I am going to recreate that with my new Gmail account. So what I'm going to do is I have created a new Gmail account. I am going to follow step by step that how we can get the app password, what are the settings where I do get the SMTP details, what are the settings we need to do in the Gmail account and all of that we are going to see and the end objective would be to send an email from our Gmail account. So in case in 2023, you are facing some issues to send email via Gmail, this video is for you. In case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest videos. Having said that, let's get started. Okay, so to get started with, I am back into my UiPath Studio. I have this project with me. The name of the project is send email. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I will go here and I'll create a new sequence. I'll call this sequence as send mail using Gmail and I'll hit create. Okay. Now the first thing first, we are going to use Gmail to send the emails. Okay. And today we are going to use the SMTP. Now, if I go to the activities and I search here mail, I am not getting any activity for the emails. That is because I do not have the dependencies. Before we continue, the first thing we require is the dependencies. So I'll go to the project. In the dependencies, as you can see, I have Excel system testing, but I do not have the email dependencies. I'll right click on the dependencies, click on manage in the all packages, right here, mail. And you should get this one, which is uipath.mail.activities by uipath. Click on this, you would get some version. I am using the latest one click on this button which says install and then click on save. Now what is happening? UiPath is restoring the dependencies of email to your project. Once this is successfully installed, my project would have activities for doing the email automation. Okay. Installed as I can see here, uipath.mail.activities here. Let me go to the activities now and let me search here mail. And now I am getting all the activities which we can use to send the emails. Okay. I am interested in sending the emails, right? So as you can see here, there is an option which is called send SMTP mail message. Okay. Sending the emails with the help of SMTP simple mail transfer protocol. Okay. So I'll drag and drop this activity to the canvas. And here we have to configure the activity, right? Whom do we want to send it? What should be the subject? What should be the body? Okay. Now, if I go here and I go to the properties, you would notice that this activity is asking me, Mukesh, whom do you want to send the email, the subject and the body? That is perfectly fine. But what is the server? How would UiPath know whether my account is a Gmail account, is a Hotmail account, is an Outlook account, is an Office 365 account, right? We need to first tell the SMTP activity that which is my server, which is my port. And today we are going to discuss with the help of Gmail. So we need to provide the server and the port for the Gmail, right? So the first thing first is we need to get the server and the port. In case you are using any other email, 
you just need to provide the server and port for that okay so now the first thing we need to get the server and port for gmail okay so i'll go back to my browser this is my account so in google i want to get the server and port right for gmail and i want to get it for smtp i'll hit enter and as you can see i am getting this detail where it says that the smtp is smtp.gmail.com and the port is this 587 265 and all right you can click on this and you can read more about this similarly let's say you want to write the same automation for outlook right so you can just type here smtp details for outlook and google's give you everything right smtp details for gmail i can get it again okay so that's how you can get it in case you are using any companies or any other infrastructure your network admin will give you this settings okay so for gmail the server is smtp.gmail.com i'll copy this go back to the automation and put it in the server so i'll go here and server as you can see this is the string so i'll go here and i'll put the server in double quotes smtp.gmail.com this is your server okay similarly every server has a port where it is listening and port is a integer so i'll go here and i'll mention the port as 587 okay different email provider would have different things now now this activity understand that yes i have to use the gmail smtp and i have to use this port now you think gmail has multiple accounts gmail has mukesh account gmail has your account gmail got has a lot of account how this activity will decide whose email id i should use as a sender right so here this is the information where it says that log on information provide me the email provide me the password and the secure password okay so i'll just expand this so if i go to my gmail which is this okay as you can see here i want to send using this email id which is tutorials by mukesh kala at the rate of gmail.com i'll copy this and that becomes my email okay so that becomes your email now comes the password so let's say i know your email id your name is john and i know that your email id is john at the rate of gmail.com so if i simply put here john at the rate of email uh, gmail.com would i be able to send an email on your behalf the answer is no because i do not know your pass i do not know john's password so till the time you provide me your account i won't be able to send an email so this activity is asking me provide me the password now here are two options one is the secure password which is the secure string you have to put it in an orchestral credential give your actual password and then send it however gmail sometime does not allow you to share the actual password so the password for my account is one two three four five i cannot directly put the password here one two three four five that causes a security threat rather what i would like to have is i would like to have a app password which means that i would like to create a temporary password which would be applicable only to this windows and gmail encourages us to use the app password and not your actual password now the next we are going to see how you can generate the app password okay and whatever password we generate that app password would be passed here i am not going to use my actual gmail password we are going to use a app password okay so to generate the app password you go back to your account which is this one okay i'll click on this you have this option which is called manage your gmail account okay click on that and then you would land something like this this is my account tutorials by mukesh kala then you have to go on something which is called security 
okay now in the security scroll down and you have something which is called two step verification so please remember in case you want to use app password you need to have this two step verification enabled if that is not enabled for you gmail will not allow you to have app password to enable that simply go here on the two step verification click on that you need to provide your actual password of gmail i say next and here as you can see i have turn on my two step verification in in your case if it is off you would see an option here which is turn on click on turn on and it is going to ask you for an alternative email id or your phone number once you verify you should have a two step verification on and to validate you simply can come here and uh, in the two step verification you should have this green one okay once you are done with the two step verification scroll down to the bottom and then you have something which is called app passwords okay and as you can see as of now i do not have any app password so i click on this button now here gmail is asking me what is the app you want you are going to use this for okay so i am using my uh, computer and for which app you require so i require it for email so i'll select the mail next gmail is asking me what kind of device it is is it an iphone ipad mac windows computer or windows phone so for me it's a windows computer i click on it now please remember once you click on generate a temporary code would be generated for you and that is not your actual password that is just a app password so i click on generate and you would notice that a password is generated for the windows computer this would be a 16 digit character so i'll copy this and i should not lose it so i'll paste it in a notepad file so this is my app password which is not my actual password now please copy this because as soon as you click on done this would not be available here for you okay at any point of time if you don't want this just come here and click on this button delete and if you want to create a new one just select the new app and click generate okay so that is how you generate the app password now once you have the app password just take the app password take it back to the activity which was this properties and here in the password i simply put that i am not putting in the secure password i am putting it in the password okay now is this a best practice the answer is no in the real automation you would be storing both of this information in a asset which would be of credential type and you will get that asset and then you will utilize it here right the purpose of this video is to guide you how to set up gmail that is why i have hard coded everything right so please remember whenever you are doing a real time automation none of these details including the server port nothing would be available in the activity everything will come from the assets or the configuration file okay so i have got the email i have got the password we have got the server we have got the port now this activity I understand that yes i need to use gmail smtp at this port i have to use tutorials by mukesh kala to send an email and this is the password okay now whom to send an email right we never told whom do you want to send an email so here i will go to the to and i'll specify my other account which is an outlook account mukesh kala at the rate of outlook.com i want to say that this is a sample mail from gmail smtp 
okay this would be the subject so that we remember that yes this is the subject then in the body i'll say that this is the body okay so anything which you, whatever you can write right so we are instructing this activity to send an email to this this should be the subject and this is our body apart from this there is no other property which we need to indicate okay now at any point of time if you want to attach something you can use this option which is attach file provide the path and that would be attached okay one last thing before running this in case you are trying to send it as an html or you have some structure you have some images please mark this checkbox which is called is body html to treat this message as an html okay you can also use the cc bcc from name all of these options are available for you to configure okay so i'll save this and now let me quickly show my outlook account as you can see this is my outlook account mukesh kala at the rate of outlook.com in the inbox i don't have any email as of now because i have cleared everything i'll minimize this and let's go here and i'll say run the file if everything works as expected we should get an email from the new email id which is tutorials by mukesh kala this would be the sender automation is completed as we can see that it took 5 seconds let us go back to the mailbox and you can see that i have received a new email let me quickly click on that so tutorials by mukesh kala at the rate of gmail.com this is the sender this was the receiver mukesh kala at the rate of outlook.com the subject is sample mail gmail smtp and this is the body okay so this indicates that we were successfully able to send an email using gmail with the help of app password now if you come back to your gmail account and you go to the sent items you could see the sent same email in your sent items as well right so the sample email gmail smtp is available here right so that is how you use gmail to send the emails so a quick recap you just have to go to your account click on this one which is manage account go to the security enable the two step verification and inside the two step verification only you at the bottom would have the app password which we have just created okay and is showing that you have last used it 320 okay and at any point of time if you don't require this you can simply come here and delete this my app password is deleted so whatever we have shown here is no longer valid in case you want to create a new one just go here and generate a new app password and in the activity you just need to get the smtp details which is this one the server the port which server which port you need to specify the emails your password and you should be good okay so that is all for this video i would like to wrap this video here i hope this was insightful if you have any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well i would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see so with that i would wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation